Hey Vintage Kids, it's Miss Kayla and Daddy. and Wendy. We're here to do the craft with you this week. We hope you had a great week. Um, if you were learning from home or if you were uh, helping your kids learn from home, anything like that, we hope you had a great time doing that. This week we were in Daniel 3 and we were learning about how Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego trusted in God and worshiped God even when things were really, really hard and even when it was hard to trust in God. So we're going to do a craft that helps us remember um, that when Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego trusted in God, that's right, we need to do some too, that when they trust in God, that God took care of them and he provided for them. Um, so we're going to make the furnace that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were in and it's really simple. You just need a few things. You either need a paper cup that you can cut apart. And if you don't have a paper cup, like around my house, we didn't have one this week. So we got a piece of construction paper, um, which I'll show you right here. You need a pair of scissors so you can cut. You need some tape or glue. You need a marker, preferably a black marker, um, and some crayons, colored pencils, one is using colored pencils, something to color with and make your craft come alive. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make the outside part of the furnace. And so if you have a paper cup, you are going to cut an opening for the furnace. If you don't, what you're, what you're going to do is you're going to make your oops, I'm dropping stuff. If you don't, you're going to make your furnace. So it's going to look like this. You're going to take a square piece of paper and you're going to cut out an opening for the furnace. So it's going to look just like this. Just cut an opening where you're going to kind of be able to see through it at the bottom. And then what you're going to do is you're going to wrap the paper around to make a cone and you're going to tape it up. So you'll put like two or three pieces of tape on the back. You can glue it, whichever you prefer. Okay. So that's the first thing. You might need to get a parent to help you tape it or an older brother or sister to help you hold it while you tape it up. Okay. So it'll end up looking just like this and it'll be your little furnace. Okay? The next thing you're going to do is we know that inside of the furnace, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were put in that furnace, but when the king looked inside of that furnace, they saw someone else in there. So there were four people inside of the furnace. So what you're going to do next is you're going to take a piece of paper and you're going to create four people to go inside of the furnace. You can either create them individually or you can draw them all on a sheet of paper. And that's what Winnie's working on. So we cut out a piece of paper that was about the same size as the inside of our furnace. We did it on yellow to remind us of how hot it was inside the furnace. Can I show yours, Winnie? Mm -hmm. And we drew, I drew four little people inside of there. So we've got our three friends of Daniel and we've got one more person um, that was protecting them. And so what Winnie's doing right now is she's coloring her people. Okay, you want to color that one next? Yeah. Okay. So what you're going to do after you finish decorating it and coloring it and you can make it just really exciting come to life, you're going to take this and you're going to stick it inside of your furnace so that you can see your people on the inside. Okay, so you can, like, like I said before, you can glue or tape. Either one is going to work. So I'm going to take a piece of tape and I'm gonna stick it on the inside right there so my three friends are inside of that furnace. And when I look inside, I'm gonna see just what the king saw when he looked inside of that furnace. He saw the three friends that were put inside there, but he also saw someone else in there that was can keeping them safe. Yeah, I can draw it, please. So, um, as you make your craft this week, um, this is kind of a basic version. You can decorate it. I'd love for you to write something that you learned on the outside of the furnace. Maybe something to help you remember that the four friends were inside of there, um, that they trusted in God, that they believed in God, and that God protected them um, throughout the whole thing when they remembered um, how good he is and that they could worship him. So I hope you enjoy your craft this week. I hope you have fun making it and remembering that God is in control and that he doesn't leave us even when things seem really, really hard. We'll see you next week, Vintage Kids. Bye. Bye.